this is here. I turned it on. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Assalamu alaikum, boys and girls. Assalamu alaikum, moms and dads. Assalamu alaikum, friends at home. It's time for the Ramadan show. Hey, hey, it's time for the Ramadan show. Hey, hey. Assalamu alaikum, Miss Nazira. Assalamu alaikum to myself. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. You and you and you and oh yeah, oh you over there, sit on the sofa. Let's start the Ramadan show. Hey, hey, let's start the Ramadan show. Hey, hey. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna get down here. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, friends at home. It's me, oh. Miss Nazira, and right. our favorite puppet friend, Anid. The rock climber. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Let's start our program. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. I begin in the name of Allah, the most kind, the most merciful. Welcome back, friends. Whoa. We are here with a new episode and a brand new lesson for today. Alhamdulillah, good to be back. Yes, and today's lesson is super exciting, Amir. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Nice. Yeah. Friends at home, are you ready to do a lot of learning? Very cool. So remember, yeah. our lessons are going to be coming from the Kissa Kids Shahar Ramadan Project Booklet, which you can download for free on their website. And don't forget, right now they're running the Kiss the Kids Qadr campaign. Okay. And we are not fully where we want to be yet, but we're almost there. So please help us by joining as a monthly donor. For inshallah. sure. Inshallah. Also want to thank our other partners, Saba and Seeds Within. Thank you for your support. Absolutely. Okay, friends. So. Uh-huh. We're going to do the same thing we usually do. We'll Whoa. have our... What's wrong? Well, yeah, I actually wanted to ask you about something. Yeah, Amir. So earlier today, I was mm -hmm. hanging out with Layla, and she um, she was just kind of sitting there for a while. What do you mean, just sitting there? She was just sitting there and like thinking. She was just sitting and thinking. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't know what to do with that. Well, what do you mean, what to do? I think that's normal. Lots of people do that, actually. But it's what we think about that matters. And you know what, Amir? What? I'm getting way too ahead of myself. Okay. But I will say. That has a lot to do with our lesson for today. It does? It does. How do those things always tend to happen? <laughs> okay, friends, why don't we go ahead and start by bringing on our guest scholars, inshallah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Bismillah. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to our guest scholars. This is Mariam and Ali. Mariam and Ali, can you tell everyone your ages and where you're from? Um, I'm from Iran. Mm -hmm. Wow, all the way from Whoa. Iran, mashallah. Whoa, that's a faraway place, wow. but it's great to have ya. And how old are you both? Um, I'm seven years old and mine is four years old. Wow, wow. mashallah. Mashallah, a couple of wise kids here. Yeah. And I'm growing up. Whoa. Whoa. Growing I'm... up? Are you eating good food to grow up? Mm -hmm. love lots of <laughs> like chicken and rice and veggies. Healthy foods. Amir is working on growing up too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take me a little while, but I'm working on it. <laughs> yes, mashallah. Okay, friends, scholars, Amir and I'm sorry, Mariam and Ali, we need your help, okay? We're trying to discover what our new ayah for the day is all about. Are you all ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys ready for the box? Can you say it with me? The box of wonder. Whoa. Okay. Bismillah. Oh my Ooh, gosh. We have a lot of things Whoa. in here. I wish you guys could see this. This is pretty cool. They're going to see it very soon. Okay. Okay, guys. So you have a very beautiful ayah. And it's a tricky one, too. So I need you guys to... Mm. Think really hard. Ready? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yeah, yeah. The first thing that comes out is... Well, it's a delicate little guy. <gasps> Do you know what that is? Caterpillar. That's yeah. right. We got it on the first try. We did. Okay, so our first clue is a caterpillar. Yeah. Okay, let me put this little guy to the side. Next clue is... 
Ooh, what's that? Whoa. Flower. What, what's that? Let me bring it a little bit closer to you. A leaf. A leaf. Right, a leaf. it is okay. a leaf. Very good. And it has something on it. Can you tell what it is? It's like a light bug. Oh, it looks oh, like a bug. Like a, like a firefly, like a light bug. Hmm. Oh, good guess. They look like little round dots. Mariam, what do you think? Like, like a U? Oh, it's shaped like a U. Okay, well, let's oh, put this one to the side. Cool. So we know it's a leaf. Okay. And there's some round dots on it. They're okay, yellow okay. spheres, okay? Yeah, maybe we can use some of the other clues to figure it out. Good idea, Amir. Let's see what else we've got in here. The next thing I've got is... Whoa, what's this? Whoa. A tree. Good guess. Yeah. It's a part of a tree. What is this called? It's, a, it's called like a branch, right? Or like a twig? Yeah. But there's something dangling off of it. Oh, yeah. Do you know what that might be? Oh, I think it's um, like when a butterfly, um, one goes and the butterfly comes up, then... Is something like that kind of like oh, this? He's... Oh, he's... Then it's actually a butterfly! You've got oh, it. Yeah. The word for this, uh, Mariam and Ali and friends at home, is a cocoon. And it, it goes like this, then it comes like a butterfly. Wow, you oh. guys are on to it. You're... you're you got home. it. Yeah. Yeah, and then my last clue is a... a... Butterfly. 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 Yes. Butterfly. Cool. I know it's closer. Yes. Oh. You got it? Yeah, I think um, um, Caterpillar goes and eats the leaf. Uh -huh. Then it goes uh -huh. up the tree. Uh -huh. That thing, it, then it grows up like that. Then it changes to a, a butterfly. Whoa. So let's put it in order, okay? We yeah, got, let's, let's think about we it. We really have to like stop for a moment and really put these pieces together, right, yeah, Ali? Yeah, can we Right, wait, Ali can... and Mariam? Let's think about it, right? Yeah. Can we can so, we just think for a second and Yeah, and let's put it stop together? for a moment, okay? Let's let me put these in front of you. So you can see. You know the leaf goes on the tree. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put them all in front of you. Okay. Everyone at home, let's think about it. Let's just wait like a few seconds to spend some time thinking. Okay, we have four pieces. So you're right, these all have to do with a butterfly, right? Yeah. And now we've all had a moment to, you know, think about these things. Let's put it in order. So I'm gonna give you a clue on this one, or maybe Amir, maybe you know what this one is, because this one's kind of tricky. Hmm. It's a leaf, yeah. and there's little little balls on it. Yes. I think it's, I think it's pond. You think it's what? Pond. Pond. Pollen. Oh, pollen. pollen. That's a good. That's a good guess. <laughs> that's a really good guess. But in this case, it's not. And this one's kind of tricky. So, mm -hmm. Amir, do you think you might know? Let me ask you. Otherwise, I can tell you guys. This yeah, one's tricky. Let me, let me think about it. So, so if we have a butterfly, and then we've got, like, their home, and then and then we have a caterpillar. Well, where does that caterpillar come from? From a, from a worm. From a worm? Good yeah, guess. Well, Good guess. It, How about from worm. before that? What does it come out of? What does it pop out of? Um, but it's like these, these um, um, small, um, yellow things. Yeah, yeah the you know what eggs. they're called? Eggs. Good. Oh, yeah, they're the eggs. So first we have the eggs, and then what comes out of it? Eggs. Um, a worm. A caterpillar. Yeah. A, a caterpillar yeah. comes next. And Mistress. Yes, Matt? honey. Um, you know, we went to a park right now, and we saw a cute bird. Wow, wow. yeah. Maybe the bird came a from an baby. A lot of Allah's creation, mashallah, are so and beautiful. So, let's go in our order, okay, friends? So, we said first we have a... No, we saw water, we saw baby turtle, and fish. Mashallah. Oh, amazing, Allah's creation. Wow, she's thinking we... about all the oh. other animals, because she's thinking about Allah's creation. Isn't that amazing? That's very good, Mariam, because that has a lot to do with our Aya today, okay? That's awesome thinking. Very cool. So, we had the leaf, now we have the caterpillar, and then the caterpillar does what, Ali, you said? 
Change your butterfly. It goes up in the tree and change your butterfly. It goes up in the tree and it wraps itself really, really tightly into some a and little temporary home it called a cocoon. Butterfly. And Mariam, what comes out of the cocoon? Butterfly. A butterfly. Yeah. A beautiful butterfly. They're the original shelter in place people. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully we come out butterflies too. <laughs> Could be. That's right. They stay in that cocoon for a while, right? Oh my goodness. Yeah. So all of those clues, we had to put them together. And what did we have to do in order to figure out what Miss Nazir was trying to show us? Because that's called, boys and girls, what we just saw? That is called the butterfly life cycle. Mm. Okay, we just saw it, right? From egg to caterpillar to cocoon to butterfly okay now that's called the butterfly life cycle what did we have to do amir and ali and mariam in order to figure all those things out what did we use um we have to think um, think yes. that's the word that's the word that's the word we're looking for. We had to do a lot yeah. of thinking. And actually, what was beautiful is I noticed that Mariam was also thinking about other things while she was thinking about the caterpillar and the butterfly. She started thinking about a lot of Allah's other creations that were so beautiful, yeah, right? Yeah, lots of other connections. Wow. Yeah. And now, would you guys like to hear what the ayah is? Because you guys got it. The answer was, the theme of the ayah is about thinking. And here's a little guy thinking, right? This yeah. is actually my, my picture of Amir right there. Oh yeah, that looks like me. <laughs> I've got the hair, right? Yeah. Yeah, after the haircut though. Otherwise you'd have to draw really long hair. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so let me tell you what the ayah is, friends. Okay, it's from Surah Al-An'am and it's verse number 50. And it says, Will you not think? The ayah of Quran is teaching us the importance of thinking. Mm. And Let me we... think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you all have to think in order to figure out those pieces of the puzzle? And yeah. Those yeah. Pieces together? You sure did some really good thinking. I'm okay, yeah. Ali and Mariam. You did a fantastic job of helping us figure out our ayah of the day. Mashallah. Thank you so, so much. Now, we're going to say goodbye to you all, but don't go anywhere, right? Because we're going to move on to the next part of our program and we're going to actually learn some hadith that help us think more about this ayah. Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. like a story or something? Yeah, I'll share another story. Sounds cool, good? Cool. Does that sound good to you guys? Yeah. Yeah, Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Afala tatafakkaroon. MashaAllah, what a beautiful Whoa. ayah of the Holy Quran. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, that was a great ayah and a great job. Yes. So, we have our ayah, Afala tatafakkaroon. Right? Uh huh. Which means, will you not think? Right. But that's not all. We have something else, Amir. What do we have? What? Well, look behind you. Oh, is it the night sky? <laughs> kind of looks like it. No, I put the sign. I took your advice, and now it's officially oh, that's the right. board of wonder. The board of wonder. Which you know what that means? It's story time. Ready, friends? Alrighty. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ready, Amir? Yeah, let me just get out of the way here. One day, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, saw a man sitting down who looked like he was very deep in thought. So the Prophet came and sat next to him, or came near him, and asked him, what is it that you're doing? And the man said, Well, I've been thinking about how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran that smart people are those who reflect and think about the wonders of Allah's creation. Whoa. Have you ever done that before? Have you ever sat down and thought about the wonders of Allah's creation, boys and girls? How about you, Amir? Have you ever done that? Well, 
I guess I haven't thought about it like that, but I have thought about like nature and all the amazing creatures out there and even my parents. Because I guess that's like thinking about Allah's creation. Right. So this man was reflecting on the wonders of Allah's creation. Perhaps these are some of the things that he was reflecting on. So, do you know what the Holy Prophet said when he heard the man say that he was reflecting upon the wonders of Allah's creation? The Prophet, peace be upon him and his holy household, said to the man, SubhanAllah! O oh man, do you know that... Oh, let's find a spot for it. Right here. He told him, do you know that one hour of thinking, let's put it here, thinking and reflecting is actually greater than an entire year of worship. What? What? How is that possible? SubhanAllah, that's what the Holy Prophet said. That one hour of you spending thinking and reflecting is more valuable and better than an entire year of worship. Whoa. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. indeed. So Layla was right. Yes. So Layla was sitting and thinking about caterpillars, right? Yeah. So she, she was doing the good thing. She was. And friends, actually, there's one more hadith that I'd like to share with you. What? Let me grab that man's thinking bubble and flip it over. Whoa. Because we have another hadith here. Do all clouds have uh, stuff written on the back of them? <laughs> My clouds do. Well, here's what it says. It's hadith from Imam Ali alayhi wasalam, And it says, To think about something and try to understand it is more useful than to just read and just memorize. SubhanAllah. So let's put all of our pieces together, okay? We have the beautiful ayah of the Holy Quran, which asks us, will you not think? Uh -huh. And then we have this story of the Prophet Muhammad coming to talk to this man who was deep in thought and thinking about the wonders and beauties of Allah's creation and the perfection of Allah's creation. And he told him, SubhanAllah, that doing that for one hour is better than doing worship. So worship is things like, what are, what are things like worship? Like salat, dua, things like that for one whole year. And then we have this hadith from Imam Ali that's telling us that trying to think and understand something is better for you than if you just read and memorize, read and memorize, read and memorize. Amir, what is the great greater lesson of today? Can you tell me the great overall picture? That clouds don't have words on the back of them. Good try, Amir. No, that's not it? No. Friends oh. at home, do you know what the lesson's all about? That's oh, right. Oh, they got it. They got it. It's all about the importance of thinking and reflecting. That's right. And you know, friends, as we've been doing these shows and these episodes throughout this holy month, there's one thing that we've repeatedly said, right, Amir? We've said, try to memorize the ayahs here. you got to keep it here, though. And put it into action with your hands. That's right. So that kind of reminds me of this hadith from Imam Ali. Because just reading the Holy Quran and just memorizing these ayahs. And just memorizing these hadith without really thinking about it all. And trying to keep it here. Uh -huh. Doesn't really benefit you that much. Right? It'll benefit you. But not nearly as much as if you really think about it and try and absorb that information that's true yeah that's, that's why we're given this advice boys and girls isn't it because when we really think about something it kind of becomes a part of us that's why it's important for us to try and think about good actions and good deeds that we can do and some of the good um ways that we can try and connect to allah subhanahu wa it can be something like thinking about a caterpillar like layla was doing and, and thinking about the beauty and perfection of Allah's creation and how he takes a caterpillar and turns it into a butterfly. Or thinking about the mountains and the oceans and the creatures there. Or thinking about our own actions and how Allah's given us so much beauty and barakat and blessings. Our parents, our families, our vision, our hearing, our tongues which speak. SubhanAllah, Allah's mercies and beauty surround us 
Oh, yeah, you paint a very great picture there. Thanks, Amir. Well, friends, that brings us to our craft. Yes! Are you ready for it? Are we making a board of wonder? <laughs> we're not making a board of wonder, but we're making something cool. All right. You ready? Let's go. Here we go. So, remember, getting we're going to get it from our Shahad Ramadan project booklet. Yeah, gonna, where can they get that book from? Remember, you can download it for free from the website. Thank you, Amir, as always, helping me out. Well, you're going to turn to this page here where we have a little bit of a printable. Okay. I see some light bulbs. I see a person who's doing, hmm, kind of a thinking face. Oh, yeah, the thinking pose. Yes, we see some cogs. Maybe their wheels are churning in the brain. And a question mark and an exclamation mark. You're going to get all these. You're going to print them out. If you don't, if you can't print them, that's okay. You can draw them on a piece of paper, color them, yeah. cut them out. And then you're going to need another piece of construction paper, a strip that's going to be the length of the circumference. That means all the way around, right? The circumference is the length around a circle. Okay. Circumference of your head. And then what you're going to make is a thinking cap. Whoa! <laughs> and guess what, Amir? What? I actually trim this one down so that the circumference won't fit my head necessarily. It's a bit too small Whoa. for me, but it will fit somebody that I know who's very special. Oh. Do you know, Franz, who it's for? Yes. This one's just oh. for you, Amir. Wait, what? Surprise! Wait, what? Oh, my <laughs> That's goodness. just for you. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Thanks for the gift. You're welcome. That's so beautiful. I feel like I'm thinking already. <laughs> yes, boys and girls. Whoa. So that little craft is for you to remember mm. the importance of thinking and remembering the beautiful hadith and the beautiful ayahs that we've learned today. Oh, I really love today's show. I learned so much. How about you, Amir? Did you say something? Sorry, I was thinking. Oh, deep in thought. Yeah, this is so cool. <laughs> it works. It does. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Okay, friends. Well, you know what? Here's the request. We would love, love, love to see all of your crafts. So please oh, remember to send us in pictures and videos of you making your materials, reciting the ayahs of Quran, reciting the hadith. Maybe you guys could even make a felt board. I would love to see that too. Yeah, they could like teach lessons on our boards. <laughs> they could. Yeah, get creative. All right, friends. Well, that's it from us today. But inshallah, we'll be back again tomorrow with a new ayah, a new, or no, sorry. We'll be back with the story time tomorrow. Yeah. All right. In the meantime, remember, try and keep everything that you learned here. Most importantly, keep it here and put it into your actions with your hands. hands inshallah. Inshallah. And you know what? Yes. I'm thinking I'm going to miss you guys. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? You did, yes. <laughs> All right, friends. I'll miss you too, but we'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. Inshallah. Take care. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Fiyamanallah. Bye. Fiyamanallah.